What's up legends? Welcome to Wednesday. I hope you had an amazing day yesterday. Today I want to get in deeper into a bit of a continuation from what I talked about yesterday with the W formation and what I need to see happen where price is currently for Bitcoin. I also want to take a quick look at Ethereum as well and very importantly we're going to take a look at the leverage levels because that's going to give us a really good hint of what is going on right now. So if you are new here welcome if you're returning welcome back don't forget to hit that like button smash subscribe button if you haven't already and turn the bell notification to all so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video I do these videos three days a week on the best trading days Tuesday Wednesday Thursday to give you my update and my play of the day so if you did happen to catch yesterday's video then you will know that we were waiting for a W formation to form at the weekly low right here or for some consolidation for a couple of days expecting a midweek reversal. It's now Wednesday. The midweek reversal is due anytime from now till Thursday, potentially Friday. So let's take a look at what is going on. Now this is what I anticipated from yesterday was basically a clone of a consolidation level and I won't go into too much detail but if you didn't catch yesterday's video make sure you go back and watch it after this one because it does go into a lot of detail about what is needed for a W formation as a W formation leads to a trend reversal. Now if I move that out of the way we can see here that it does look like on the four hour time frame this could be potentially misconstrued as a W formation. I bring this down here like this. You can see that is starting to look like a W formation. I am skeptical about this move and I'm going to explain why by using the smaller time frames. So on the one hour you can see here if we zoom out that we have the requirements from what needs to happen before a W formation which is three hits to the downside. Okay so we've ticked that box. However, what needs to happen in a W formation is that the second peak of the W needs to create a higher low with the purpose of trapping people who went short at the bottom of this peak here. Now, if we mark out where that second peak is currently, you can see that this is all we've trapped so far. And the problem with this W is the volume behind it. So we can't just look for a formation. It needs to be backed by volume because the volume tells tells us that it's the market maker making the move and not retail. So here, when I hover over this candle right here, you can see how we had this huge volume spike down here so that we had the three hits to the downside. And this was the candle that stopped the momentum of price moving down. So that was a good start to a potential W. Then we have the retracement and then we come down to ideally create a higher low. Now here, we don't have a volume spike. If you match this up to the volume down here, we don't have a volume spike compared to these spikes here, here, big spike here, here, here. These are the kind of volume spikes that we needed to see here in order for this to be a W formation, potential trend reversal. So now let's assess where the volume actually is because that's going to give us a hint of what the market maker is actually trying to do and who he's trying to trap. So if I go down to the 15 minute time frame so that we can really identify it. Now on the 15 minute time frame, you may have thought that this here was a W formation and look, Technically it is. However, when you line that, that up with the volume down below, this second peak here, it doesn't have a volume spike. When you look at these volume spikes here, where we had big momentum, and we have this one here as well, and we have this one here as well. So we have to ask ourselves, if that's where the volume was, what was happening at that time, and what was the market maker trying to do? So with a W formation, after the W formation, we get the breakout and the retest of resistance, right? So the W, resistance is here. This is the breakout and this is the retest. The volume only came in on this candle here after the retest. If this was going to be the level one, two and three rise, the volume should have come in on this candle here as the retest, but we got it here. So in my opinion, this was a bull trap. This was the market maker trapping the bulls, enticing them to open long positions. Then we went into consolidation, which I called the board meeting. The market 
maker here was reassessing his position and then he decided to trap more bulls here because look at that volume spike there but we have that big wick to the top and so it didn't go anywhere so these two volume spikes where they actually came indicate to me that this was a bull trap and of course as you can see now price headed back down afterwards now where we are now in my opinion we haven't really trapped short sellers who went short below here we've trapped bulls who went long up here so I'm skeptical of this W for this reason uh, until I see volume come in I don't think that was the actual W formation in saying that however I actually think that this entire region here is the board meeting so this is the consolidation period that I spoke about yesterday that I said we might have a boring couple of days of nothing happening whilst the market maker assesses his position and decides which way he wants to send the market now we've trapped bulls twice so that's a concern that does tell me that price could potentially head lower so what needs to happen today is we need to trap these if we have a chance of price reversing to the upside we need to trap everybody who went short here so this range in my opinion it needs to widen here and where price is right now we need the volume to come in here above this zone then we can expect a push out and if we get that that means the w formation is actually here not there that was just consolidation board meeting now the bad news is that if the idea was to trap the bulls up here they would have already been stopped out hopefully unless they made an emotional decision and widened their stops down to below the previous low to convince themselves they were right that is a very big possibility as well so there could be longs that are still open trying to ride this out and hoping that price will continue back up and the market maker could have purposely trapped them right now we have not yet made it down to the weekly low so that's why we still have to be open to the idea that there is more downside this week and maybe the midweek reversal is actually movement maybe the early week is the consolidation period and the midweek reversal is movement downward unless we get a W formation that's what you should be prepared for so let's have a look at high block and see if we can get a hint of what's going on with the leverage sorry for the super bright screen now looking at this today we can see that the shorts are still at risk of being liquidated the delta is on the side of the shorts and we're looking at 19 billion now 19 billion isn't a level where I usually see the market turn so that's a concern to me it can signal that they will potentially move price down further to encourage more short because usually the reversal comes when that number is above 25 somewhere between 25 and 30 and when you have a look at this you can see that there is long leverage there are longs still open below current price that are at risk of liquidation as well so there is potential for price to head down further before we actually get that flip to the upside this is the big concern for me here see this big spike out here that's this big pink circle here at 168 million dollars worth of longs at risk of liquidation at 39,000 so that's one level if we do break down further then 39k is going to be a level to watch but this visible range is actually showing us around 38.1 now 38.1 does line up with around the weekly low let's take a look at the heat map to see if we can get a bit of a hint of where people are looking to buy right now so immediately what stands out to me is the current level where the current candle is we do have people trying to buy up at 39 300 it looks like and we also have some pretty big buyers at 38 750 so 38 750 it lines up with those liquidation levels it lines up with the weekly low so it's definitely a level to watch right now where we may potentially get the W bounce if we do head down a bit lower at this point in time with all of this data I'm not fearing that we're going to break lower than that so that's I guess is one positive it's not that far from where price is now and it could potentially be the bottom four now that's 610 at 38,750 that's starting to get up into the high range where I would expect a bounce you can see there previously it was at 883 so we do have some orders removed there but they may come 
come back. That That's kind of the level. If I was watching today, I want to see that grow a little bit more. If it gets back to the 800s or higher, then I'd be fairly confident that if price did come down one more time today, the bounce is probably going to be there. However, I would still wait for confirmation. I would still wait for a W formation. I wouldn't just take a blind long off the 38,750. The other thing too is above price, we have 500 at 40,450. And that's looking like the top of the W formation that we have going on right now. It's just adding confluence to the fact that I think this is consolidation, not a W. We may head up there. We may reject there. It's not a big rejection at 500, but it may grow before price gets there. If we do reject there and start to head back down, unless other orders, big orders come in between those two levels, then I think it is likely that we will revisit these lows here at 38, around 38,750. We do also have to watch this area. There are people currently trying to keep price above 39,000, which makes sense because it's a round number. So pretty much anything between 38,750 and 39,000 is the area that we want to see defended by the bulls and not break any lower than that. Otherwise, it could be fairly tragic. Now, guys, whilst we're here, if you are looking for updates on trading light, liquidation levels, things like that, if you want to dive deeper into this way of trading, learning how to trade heat maps as opposed to just technical analysis, then be sure to join my Discord. The best time to join is in the first half of the month because Patreon does charge you at the time that you get in and then also again on the first of every month. So in order to avoid a double charge towards the end of the month, the best time to join is early month. So if you're thinking of getting in, now is the time to do it. We've been talking a lot about this range and there are a lot of eyes watching and commenting and helping each other out. So be sure to check the link in the description below if you're interested in diving deeper in how to trade heat maps. As they say, technical analysis is a glimpse of what has happened in the past. Heat maps are a glimpse of what is happening in the future. And that's why that's our focus. So I'm not ruling out that price won't come down to the weekly low at this point in time. And the only thing that's going to change my mind is if a W formation forms from here. I'm disregarding this because I think that this was consolidation and I want to now see the W form here. Now, I also could be wrong about that and this could be the W here, right? So if I am wrong, I'm prepared to be wrong and I'm okay with that. If this was the W, just because we have that lack of volume, for me, I'm going to take the safer play, which means I'm going to take it on the one hour time frame. And instead of taking the long out of here, because it wasn't backed by volume, for me, the requirement for me to take this is going to be a breakout of the W and a retest. That's where I'll get in. So on this particular play, I'm happy to miss the rise level one. I want to see that W get retested and create a new higher low. Wherever that higher low is created will be my entry and I'll ride level two and potentially level three, depending on how the market structure plays out. If, however, we break this level, again, I'm not looking to short. When I have a look at the liquidations and the weekly low is only at 38,940 and then the liquidations are down at around 38.1. There's just not enough in it for me to short this. So I'm really not looking for shorts. If we do break down from here, all I'm doing is waiting for price to consolidate, create a W, and then I'm looking for a long from there. So that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario is market maker comes in at some point here and brings us some volume. We get that level one rise out. We break the one hour W, retest, and then I'm more confident that we're going to have a some sort of a recovery on Bitcoin. And I'd be looking up to around this level here as a first area to take profit. Now, sometimes when Bitcoin is not that clear, Ethereum can give you a bit of a better signal because it does tend to respect levels a lot better. So with Ethereum, we do have a slightly better higher low, right? So it does look like more longs got trapped here. But again, when we had this reversal here, it's not backed by a volume spike. When you look at the volume here that bought price back down and you look at the volume here that stopped this momentum move down we don't have the same spike 
right now. So I would just be very skeptical of this move. Ethereum is giving me the confluence to believe that in this particular case, we shouldn't be trying to pick the bottom. We should be making sure that we have confirmation before we take an entry because we really are on the edge right now. And unless we get a breakout of the W and a retest, in my opinion, there's no long. Also, again, if we do break down out of this level and create new lows, there's just not enough in it for me to short. I would rather just let that play out and then reassess, just set up again. Once price gets here, wait for consolidation, look for a W formation, take the long out of there. You'll have a much better risk to reward. So that is my play of the day. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. I really do appreciate the comments because they help me drown out the spam comments, which I'm sure you've seen a lot of. It's very irritating. And also don't forget if you haven't checked out yesterday's video and you want more details on exactly what a W formation is and how and why it forms, then be sure to check out yesterday's video. Have the most amazing day. I will see you tomorrow.